morning. Welcome to the Samlex workshop. This morning we're going to install a cable kit for a 1500 watt inverter. The Samlex cable kits are designed specially for different wattage inverters. For this 1500 watt PST 1500 12, which is a 12 volt inverter, we're going to use the Samlex 2000 cable kit. In this cable kit, we have a fuse and a fuse block, installation manual, which is always important to read, some cable ties, and the cables themselves. The tools you'll need for this, a cutter for cutting the tie wraps on the cable, and two open-end, close-end wrenches. And that's all you need for installing the 1500 watt inverter to a battery. Alright, we're going to take that cable kit we saw earlier with the fuse block and we're going to attach the inverter to our battery bank. The battery bank in this case is a sealed AGM battery bank of 210 amp hours. Two 6 volt, 210 amp hour batteries make a 12 volt, 210 amp hour battery bank. For the 1500 watt 12 volt inverter, you could draw up to 150 amps if you were using all 1500 watts. That's a lot of power. For a 210 hour, amp hour battery bank, you'd get maybe half an hour out of that battery bank to run it. So uh, you've got to look at how much power you're going to use, what inverter, and how big your battery bank is going to be. So attaching the cables is pretty simple. We're going to remove the nut and washer off each terminal. The red wire goes on the positive red terminal. And the black wire goes on the black terminal negative. We'll tighten up the nuts. Not too tight, but tight enough for a firm connection so there's no movement on that ring terminal. Then we're going to put the caps for protection on the terminals. Now we've completed the inverter end of the installation. Alright, for the battery side of the installation we have our fuse block with the 200 amp fuse to protect the cables. Batteries can draw very high currents so these fuses are necessary to protect the wires. If something ever shorted out those wires, the wires could catch on fire. So these are very important fuses. We're going to install that fuse block on the positive battery post. And we're going to tighten it down. So again, it's a snug tightness just to make sure there's a good connection, but not over tighten. On the top of the fuse block, we're going to install the positive wire from the inverter. And there we have the positive wire. On the negative side, we're going to put this cap on top of here just for protection. On the negative side, what we're going to do first is just a quick touch in the negative post just because there can be a little bit of a spark when the inverter charges up its internal capacitors. We're going to remove the nut off the negative terminal and install the negative wire from the inverter. Tighten it down again 
not too tight, but to make a solid connection so there's no movement. And there we have the battery end completed. So there we have a complete installation of a 1500 watt inverter to a battery bank with proper wire protection via the fuse block and fuse, the 200 amp fuse. So we're complete, we can turn the inverter on and we have power.